Okay, so I'm gonna go through how I do the colors on these. I don't know any proper sewing words, so this is gonna be the easiest way to show you guys. All I've done is zigzag stitched the collar on, have it equal coming off both sides. This is the CKC and grid top, which is the one I do the most. So I turn it down. I actually fold right onto the collar. So I'm not trying to fold it over to match the stitch. I actually take a little bit of the bodice piece, maybe about a quarter of an inch, and I fold that up. I don't know why it works. It just seems to make it lie flatter. So I will use pins on this part because I want to keep that same width all the way across. And then I fold up the ends to match. You will see why I use pins on certain sections in a moment. So to me, this is like every binding direction I've ever read. And then I take the top half and I fold it down to meet the bottom half. So the directions for this one say to put the straps two inches from the ends. And then for the thick pieces, I will go back in with pins because the clips don't always stay still in the process. And I think that's the most important thing is for the clips to stay completely still when you're doing this. And yes, I do measure a million times because the one time I don't measure is the one time that this thing's gonna go horribly wrong and I'll have to seam rip, which I hate. Okay, so now I have the pins in, I have the top layer sort of tacked in. I don't know if this is where it goes different from everybody else on the planet. So I will fold this together. And I will take the bottom clip and then catch the top. And if I want the really thick high neckline, I just simply make the band taller. No trickery, nothing interesting, I just make it taller. Okay, so obviously I haven't done anything with this pin section yet. This gets repetitive because I'm going to pin it from the back, but then I'm gonna flip it towards the front, make sure it's smooth, and I'm gonna readjust all of these pins to make sure everything is pinned as completely smooth as possible before I even start to sew. Okay, so now this is the back side. I will flip it over to the front side. Okay, to me, this is bumpy, so I don't like it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with the collar because I think that's where it needs to be the flattest because you're gonna see that part on stage the most. And if you don't wanna cover with rhinestones, it has to look nice. So I will literally make sure it's flat and I'll feel to the front and back that I'm sticking the pin through both layers because I hate when you sew it in the front and then it's not caught in the back because you can't really go through and re-sew it, especially if you're sending this out to someone, you have to seam rip and redo the whole thing. Okay, so I know this front section is very flat. It's pinned through the back. See, it lays much flatter just looking at it. So then I will go through to the next section and make sure that this is very flat and clip it. Now this, 
looks horrible when you pinned it from the back. So I'm going to just take the layers and make sure they're completely straight and flat. Take that clip out because it also looks strange from the front. And yes, I probably could have started this from the front. Just in my experience, when I do that, it still comes out bumpy, so I'm sort of superstitious, which is why I keep doing it this way. Because I really don't ever have time to seam rip. Okay, so we got this strap. And I am not going to do any kind of basting stitch. I'm literally gonna go in with, I use like a triple stitch, uh, only because I think it looks nice. There's no actual sewing reason for it. The zigzag stitch, I use it once in a while. It's not my favorite. So, I already have the machine set to go. Switch it over to the zigzag stitch. I use a four and a two. Don't ask me which is width and which is height, but that is what I use. And that will be the stitch. So as you can see, it looks fairly flat when it's even on the table. And my biggest thing would be, it's gotta go slow. You can't speed stitch these necklines. So as I feed it, I literally make sure this is completely flat and I fold it. Especially when you hit the straps. off the ends. Okay, so when you lay it down flat, it is nice and straight. When you curve it around the mannequin's neck, it makes a really nice flat ring. So that is how I do it. I will probably have to load this to YouTube because it is a little long, but anyways. Hopefully that will work for you. Have a great day.